Hello, how are you today? Do you remember me telling you? I mean, it was my first video, probably my third, my fourth, my eighth video. Do you remember me telling you that I'm not good at hair? I'm not good at styling it, I'm not good at keeping it healthy. And I just straightened it because I didn't know how else to do anything with it. Do you remember that? I bought the Shark Styler, I think it's called. Shark Hair Styler, Blow Dry Styler. And it's made styling my hair not only possible, but easy. Super easy, to the point where every time I wash my hair, I dry it curly. And it looks great and it lasts all week. I want to show you how I style my hair. Because I figure having it come from someone who's made it very clear that it was impossible to style hair. So this is for everyone out there that does not mess with hair because you just, you can't do it. You don't have the patience for it. It's not worth your time because when you put time to it, it doesn't turn out anyway. So you just tie it up and let it be. That's who I was. And now I curl my hair every time I wash it and it looks so good. This one's for you. I wanted to make a little disclaimer. Your hair and the products you put into your hair are very important here. So if you've got fine hair, it is important to add products that are either volumizing or hold your hair in place because it won't work on your hair. If you have curly hair and you're trying to curl your hair, it works great. If you have curly hair and you're trying to straighten your hair with the paddle brush or the roller brush, I'm sure you have to put in your normal products, but it works great. With me, I don't have the liveliest of hair. My hair has been dyed upon dyed upon dyed upon bleach and it's not as healthy as I would like it to be. So the good thing about that is that it holds in place and I don't have to do much to it. But even I use a primer. So wash your hair to, in order to use this because it is a hair dryer. Doing this on wet or damp hair is how it works best. So my hair has been damp and in a towel for like an hour now. I had to eat and then I found chocolate and then I got distracted so use your primer I use the Olaplex number no. six bond smoothener Sm smoothener smoother it's a heat resistant primer reduces freeze nourishes and protects Olaplex number no. six the bond smoother now I'm gonna go in with a second product because despite having put in this primer look my hair is frizzy, it's dead. Again, I'm cutting it off, don't come for me. I use an oil. This oil by Archive, it's called the Good Habit Hybrid Oil. It's so, it smells so good. It's become a lifesaver product. It's a thicker kind of oil, you probably can't see it. But when I went in and I asked for a hair product from the store, I told them the problems that I have. My hair gets super frizzy. It's super unhinged when it comes to heat damage. It doesn't like to stay straight and it doesn't like to chill out. So they gave me this product and I use it now when it's damp so that when I dry it, it has less frizz and I do kind of run this over the top of my head as well. Okay, so because we have two different nozzles, left and right, it only makes sense to separate the hair down the middle and to left and right sections. Depending on the length of your hair, the thickness, etc., you won't have to section it off as much as I do. So I will usually feel for the middle and separate it into my two sections. And I use two little scrunchies to, for the most part, tie it up. And what I mean by that is it's mostly tied up and I leave a little part at the bottom in order to, you know, dry it and curl it. The next thing that you want to do, take your hairdryer, take your left nozzle. The settings that I keep on mine are two out of three heat and three out of three wind. Take the hair, turn it on. I usually count maybe 10 seconds depending on how thick the strand of hair that I've taken is or how dry it is. This one was mostly dry so I left it in for a little bit longer. Stop the drying when you finish counting and let it go. Because I've taken out the right chunk now, what I'm going to do is separate the nozzle, put on the right one and the unfortunate thing is they get really hot. 
So when you're separating it and you're parting it, just be wary of that. For this side, I've made this a bit thick here. So we'll take this one and just like I did with the other one, And there's that one. In order to make them tighter curls or if they're still a little wet, I go back in and I make them drier. So the thicker the strands of hair that I bunch up together, the longer I wait for it to dry. So I might go from waiting 10 minutes to waiting, to, oh, yo, 10 seconds to waiting 20 seconds. But I do feel around and see like, is it dry enough? Um, I just did that one twice because it felt damp still. So double checking isn't gonna hurt you. And okay, another thing that I like to do all of these are going in the same direction. At this point, what I'll do is I'll brush it to tame any flyaways and I'll twist it within itself in the direction that I've curled it and it sits like that until I'm ready to actually run the oil through it and all that stuff. I may as well do it to this side now because I'm gonna be taking out the rest of it. Let us talk. I wasn't timing because I was listening to Crescent City 2. Oh, no, yeah, I did it, okay. But I think I started around 6.30 and it's now 7.20. It doesn't usually take this long, it's because I'm filming and I'm trying to whatever and also because it's it feels dark in here. Does it feel dark to you? It feels dark to me. So this is what it ends up looking like. Let me move my chair out of the way. I'm attached to a microphone, so let's move that out of the way. The hair ends up looking something like this. All right, look, because I'm attached to a microphone, I can't actually move too far back. What I end up doing, I brush it out to make the curls a little softer. They curl kind of naturally. And I do that on both ends, or on both sides, I should say. And curl them out, not always in like one chunk. Sometimes I do separate them. Sometimes I leave them in a chunk to kind of settle on their own. And what I do from here, just making that centered, I grab that oil again. That oil that I put on in the beginning that's supposed to stop all the frizzing. I do it again for two reasons. One, the frizzing. And two, well, three reasons. Two, because it smells nice. And three, because it actually I don't, don't ask me how, I don't know how things work, but it makes it better. I tried it for the first time without the oil and I woke up, all of my curls were dead 
and I don't know how to explain how the oil, which is something that's typically heavier and makes things fall flat, I can't explain how it wasn't flat. But I put that in on the curls. I put any kind of residue on the top here to stop any of the extra frizz. It stays like this for the rest of the night. Now, I normally do this the night before I go somewhere. I can do it before I go out, but you saw how long it took. Like, imagine, imagine spending the time doing the hair and then having to do the makeup to then go out. It's exhausting. Like, I have a headache and I was listening to an audiobook. It ends up curling well enough. And then sometimes I put hairspray in it. Hang on, let me sit down again. Sometimes I put hairspray in it. Like I'm gonna go put hairspray in it now just to kind of keep it locked in place. Again, I do sleep. It's half past seven in the evening now. So I do the rest of my stuff. I go to bed and when I wake up, the curls are still there and they last me for the rest of the week. And this has been the most awesome addition to my life because I feel put together. Like, granted, yeah, I'll do my makeup, I'll go out, I'll get my nails done. Oh man, I need to paint my nails. I have an event tomorrow. This hair dryer with extensions, it comes with a paddle brush, uh, a round brush, these left and right air wrap turners, a blow drying nozzle, and a blow drying nozzle for curly hair, that, that wide claw looking thing. When it comes to drying the head, I used to think that you needed the nozzle to dry the head and then these curly things to curl the hair. But like I've been doing, holding the nozzle close to the head, it is an air dryer. So it dries it on its own. Hair is dry, hair is curly, everything's great and life changer. It sounds dramatic because it's like, okay, would my life really have been different if I didn't find a product to curl my hair? Probably not. but. I was spoiled when I went to Greece, you see. In Greece, I was spoiled with going to the salon and washing my hair there and getting it curled and having it fluffy and bouncy and then coming here and being like, is it, is it worth it? I really go out, I go to work. No, <laughs> the answer is no. Except now I curl my hair and then I go to work with curly hair and it's worth it when you can do it for yourself but the sectioning is easy. Drying my hair with the dryer, this air wrap dryer is easy. And I figured that it would be a good thing to show it here because I started, if I started my channel saying I cannot style hair and I'm looking you in the face now and saying I can now do it and it works every time and it's easy and it lasts all week and I'm grateful that I purchased this product. And it's something that like, I'm not gonna lie, it was an insecurity of mine. I couldn't style my own hair. I'd spend so many hundreds of dollars to get it dyed, I couldn't get it styled. I couldn't style it, it wouldn't, it wouldn't register. And now it works. So if you're like me and everything else in your life works perfectly, except for your hair, you tie it in a bun, can't be bothered, you leave, this is fun. If you can get your hands on it or something like it, I don't know how many versions of this kind of tool are out there, it is worth it. That's it for today. Again, I, I hope this was helpful. I hope I was able to teach something because when I learned it, I did go on YouTube and I looked at people's reviews and how do they use it. I found out my way of using it is a bit different to theirs. We all have different hair. So keep that in mind as well. Like products are important. The, the people that I was watching use it too. Half of them didn't use products and the hair would fall flat. And the other half that did use products, the hair worked really well. So keep that in mind. You know what's best for your hair. My hair is like <laughs> dead enough from all the dyeing and the heat damage that it stays in place for longer. I only put in primers and this oil, which smells divine. Well, that's all from me today. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I will see you next week. Bye.